question. <laughs> Good question. Repeat the question. Maybe, yeah. Um, yeah, it was pretty random, the people who were in the film. Some were uh, Mickey Costello, who talked about growing up in San Francisco, uh, dry, uh, running through Golden Gate Park. Mickey met her in New Orleans during Mardi Gras last year. Um, I met Sia Vosh, who talked about being a techie. Um, shuttling to work. I met him on BART on the way to Mardi Gras. Um, Mardi, Mardi Gras. <laughs> but otherwise, um, people were um, like family of friends of ours or acquaintances or strangers um, who would be down to talk to us and open up. I just want to add because now seeing this film forever, <laughs> um, I was part, a big part of the edit, uh, the editing process, and just it's interesting because a lot of people came to the premiere that were in the film, and um, we've only I've only seen some of them once in my life, and spent with them two hours, and then transcribed interviews, saw them again for shooting. And um, it's interesting when you're in the editing process and everybody just grows on you and you just embody their story to try to make it as um, authentic as possible and represent them in a, rich, in a rich way, as rich as their personality might be possibly translated for people that don't know them. So I just realized now, like watching it again, um, that how close people were to me. So when I saw them at the, at the, at the premiere, it was like, Oh hey, yeah, you know, <laughs> I knew them so well, but they didn't know me that well. So it was, it was interesting for me, I think, um, to be there and say hi to people. Okay, as, as filmmakers and storytellers, did you guys find it like especially um, inspiring, the, like documentary medium instead of a, like a, a fictional storytelling, or also like a biography or a portrait? Um, I never thought I would I would be doing a documentary because usually I think documentaries are not very interesting <laughs> to watch, and um, I don't know um, maybe that's a little intolerant, and I'm sure I know there is great documentaries, and I have certainly uh, um, a few people on my mind that I like love to watch their documentary documentaries, but um, I think uh, our idea was to make a sort of like, in, sort, in, in some way our goal was to make a narrative, because I definitely love myself fiction and narrative, but you have to lean it on people so, and on real stories. So what can you do when you like try to represent a city like San Francisco or any city that is complex and ha ha has a lot of rich story and how do you want to like represent the people uh, in a way that it's direct, but and, and not just like talking heads, because most of that was talking heads, but they were talking to me or talking to you, I don't know. And um, you wanna say something? Yeah, so I'd say the form in which we made the movie, um, we tried to follow a kind of structure. Like, it was a threefold process. We asked people to send us stories about San Francisco, and then we approached people and um, interviewed them in person, and then we transcribed those conversations, and then we looked at the transcriptions and said, okay, these parts could be tr translated into cinema, and then we approached the person again, and then video interviewed them, and then we transcribed those video interviews again and looked at it in terms of the editing and what parts actually fit together in this whole narrative about San Francisco. So I'd say we approached the whole film as a narrative, but allowed each story to kind of unfold based off what people wanted to tell us. Yeah, it's a good thing to add that we like really try to like remove ourselves in terms of uh, control. Like we, we ask people to just tell us what they want to tell us basically. And that sometimes it was like an hour long and then we just took parts as Kate described. But I think in terms of narrative and documentary, um, I think one part to mention was that we, from the beginning, we kind of wanted to create a, a narrative about San Francisco. So have like this emotional arc of a traditional like story uh, narrative. But um, yeah, use kind of the, the um, 
the real emotions of people telling that part and like kind of having this arc like in a traditional narrative. I just want to also just say thank you very much and it was really beautiful and And maybe one more and then if there question? and then we and then we can take more questions in the lobby if it, yeah It was actually not me, um, it was a, a friend of mine, Elliot, that um, I, I know that he has been working with uh, drone footage. Yeah. I don't know if he's here, if you guys know him or if anybody knows him. Um, it's funny because Elliot is, um, I haven't seen him for six years and I just hit him up and he was doing the drone footage and we planned it out and shot it a couple of times. And the conditions were just perfect because the contrast was, you know, like, kind of high, so there was sun, but not too much, so you could see still the details of her running, and yeah, I, I'm glad we, we, we did this with him together, and he was like, I mean, obviously it was like a super low budget movie, so he did this for free, and yeah. I really want appreciate that, that he like gave us his time to do that. Yeah, and I would just say, for the most part, the movie was like a lot of good luck because we used, you know, the camera stuff we had ourselves or rented, and then we showed up to locations that were based off like, you know, no lighting. So every shoot, we were praying that everything would work out because otherwise, it just, you know. So with Elliot, it worked out really well, and for the most part, that was how the whole film was made. <laughs>